Hello, hello, what's on your movie mad man? Then I'm back. And today is an interesting day for me because I get to talk about an interesting film for me. Uh, it's not a brand new 4K, but it is one that I have bought recently. Today we're going to talk about Graham Stoker's Dracula. This is the film from 1992, so it's exciting, isn't it? So here you are then, Bram Stoker's Dracula, there's a back cover for you there, we can have a look at the inside as well, so you've got a nice 4K disc in there, and it comes with a Blu-ray as well, a multi-regional Blu-ray I might add, because UK's nice like that, aren't they? So I got this last week, I went into HMV, got it on 2 for 30 in the 4K section, so the other one I'm going to open for you and talk about after I've released the podcast because we mentioned it a little bit in the podcast and I saw it in HMV and I was like, you know what, it's time. But I'm going to talk about this one today. So I've been going through a bit of a, a Dracula thing at the moment. Uh, the other day, probably last week now, by the time this is out, I watched Nosferatu for the first time, the original film released in 1922 which was an interesting film for me. There was a lot of it that made me laugh just because of how old it was. And it was quite, it was quite interesting to see because I think it was the first, pretty sure it was the first time I've seen a silent film that isn't Charlie Chaplin. So it was interesting to watch a film that was meant to be scary. Well, probably would have been terrifying back in 1922. Um, but when you watch it now, you probably just laugh all the way through it. I'm pretty sure five-year-olds could watch this film now and just piss themselves all the way through it because they think it's a comedy. Um, so yeah, Nosferatu is based on the same book as this. So it made me want to watch this again. I'm pretty sure I saw this film once before re-watching it for the first time a few days ago. And I don't remember liking it that much the first time I saw it, but when I watched it this time round, wasn't actually that bad. I find it interesting actually because in Nosferatu and in this film uh, there's talk of the Demeter, the boat that Dracula travels on. Uh, they then released a film called The Last Voyage of the Demeter which is taking absolutely ages to come out in the UK but you know nevertheless I've still seen it because I'm good like that. The Last Voyage of the Demeter I thought was really good. I really liked that. It was a really good in-depth in-depth look at one chapter from this book that's completely overlooked in this film and you experience it in the original Nosferatu for about three minutes um, but they completely ignore it in this film I think you see two shots of the boat in the entire film um, and they don't really touch upon that chapter of the story at all so scary scary not really the scariest thing about this film is probably the fact that most of the actors in this have different accents to what they would normally have. It was very interesting seeing Keanu Reeves pretending to be English. We know the rider pulls off English quite well, so I'll give her that. I don't know what a accent uh, Anthony Hopkins and Greg Graf fuck. I don't know what accents Anthony Hopkins or Gary Oldman were supposed to have, but they sounded a little bizarre. Um, but yeah, all in all though, I thought it was a pretty good film. I think probably because I haven't watched it for a long time and I've been watching a lot of Dracula stuff recently, which made me come back to this. I was like, Do you know what? I appreciate this a little bit more. It's a bit oddly sexual in places. I thought it was a bit strange. There are moments where Dracula bites some women and they just sound like someone's, <clears throat> you know, um, playing with them downstairs or playing with themselves downstairs even it's just a bit odd you know I didn't think people would enjoy getting bitten that much but you know apparently girls like that uh, all in all though I like it it's a good film 4k wise uh, it was okay it's not the best looking 4k film I've ever seen but it's by far definitely not the worst looking 4k film I've ever seen either 
for a film that was released in 1992 and then re-released I think in 2019 oh I've got that bit right that's brilliant isn't it re-released in 2019 in 4k um, it's actually it's actually not that bad I mean it's not that great but it's not that bad either 50 50 6 out of 10 is probably more what I would give it maybe not 50 50 6 out of 10 it's just above average it's covered in grain oh I'm such a grain hater I am a little bit of a grain hater apparently so I'm told I tell myself I'm not a grain hater but apparently I am um, I just don't like it I'm sorry it's really annoying though because the thing the thing with me and grain is when you see films like The Shining that was released in the 80s or even 2001 Space Odyssey which was released in the 60s you watch those two films in 4k and the picture looks amazing and there's hardly any grain present at all then you watch something that was released after that and it looks worse and I'm just like how can these really old films look that good and then something that's newer like this look that bad why can't they just restore them in the same way I mean obviously they're restored by different companies and different companies do different things different ways you know hence why Arrow video always looks shit but I don't know there's just part of me that's just like I don't understand why they can't all be restored the same way if these companies that restore them and make them look really really good why don't these other companies think I'm going to do it the way that they did it? I don't know. It's just it's beyond me a little bit. Sorry. So as Bram Stoker's Dracula for you there. Uh, very exciting. If you guys haven't seen Renfield, there's a little comedy out there called Renfield with Nicolas Cage and Nicolas Holt. Where Nicolas Cage plays Dracula and Nicolas Holt is his assistant trying to get rid of him kind of thing. That's a funny film. And that's, that's a really good Dracula movie as well, so a bit dracula -y for you today. Uh, but that's it for today though. I'm going to go now. You'll be pleased to hear. If you can like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm going to fuck off. Okay? Goodbye.